In a sea of woke companies, corporate virtue signaling and relentlessly left-wing marketing tactics, there are some bright lights pushing back against the race-obsessed, biology-denying miscreants of the far left. EGARD Watchers is fighting back and no surprises that their ad quickly went viral. Have a look. It wasn't easy. I trained hard, harder than anyone else I know. But I was made for this. I was an unstoppable force. A life dedicated to perfection. But even perfection wouldn't be enough. I'm pleased to say the filmmaker and CEO of Egard Watchers, Elan Sorlovich, joins me now, Elan. It's a powerful ad. It ended up going viral online. Um, what has the response been? Have you had much of a backlash or has the uh, uh, have people been crying out for just this sort of marketing campaign? Interestingly enough, I think a lot, a lot, a lot of people have been hoping for something like this from corporate America. They just haven't been exposed to it. And so we had a tremendously positive response. We obviously got a little bit of the negative response. Uh, I don't even want to give it value. We had to deal with some stupidity, but it, you know, it is what it is. The the overwhelming response was incredibly positive from honestly from both sides of the political aisle, which is nice because there was a lot of people on the left who were like, "I'm just mm. so tired of hearing this over and over and over." Now you've done similar campaigns in the past. Uh, tell me why you think it's important to do this and why. The overwhelming majority of corporates lean left in their marketing uh, and, and their politics. Uh, it's, it's just bizarre to me because obviously half the country doesn't think that way. But when you look at the corporate world, it's almost like they all lean to the left. Yeah, I think they're driven, especially nowadays, by the ESG scores. And you see a tremendous amount of pressure on them to have to fit these standards or they won't get investments from groups like BlackRock or Vanguard. So I think there's a lot of investment firms behind driving the culture, unfortunately. And you see it's every industry has been taken over. It's it's media, it's Hollywood, it's corporations. So until mm. people start fighting back, I think so many of us are just hyper agreeable. We don't want to deal with the consequences. And that's kind of what's allowed it to escalate. Absolutely. I think the media plays a massive part in why the corporates behave the way they do. Uh, now, why did you decide to speak about the issue of women being erased in particular? Because there's a lot of woke nonsense you could focus on or in all sorts of areas, but in that particular ad, you really did focus on, uh, you call it the war on women, um, biological males intruding into women's spaces, including women's sport. Uh, tell me why that's a focus for you. I think it's uh, I think it's the most fundamental attack on truth that we see in society nowadays is the denial of gender, the erasure of women. Uh, and I think it's unbelievably dangerous. We, we exist kind of in a binary right now where people either believe in absolute truth or they don't. And we have this extreme moral relativism, which has kind of taken over society. And there's no such thing as a little bit of it. It's going to get very, very extreme to the point of we've gone so far as to put biological males with a history of assaulting women in prison with women in a secular, mm. progressive, advanced society. These are things that are happening and no one is speaking up against it. And so it's the most fundamental attack on truth that I see in society nowadays is that issue. 